Hey guys, it's update time on our Cracky Super Hot Pepper Grow that we have on, in our greenhouse. And I wanted to start off with somebody kind of pointed out that I'm not doing a true Cracky Grow because I'm topping off the water and nutrients from time to time. And he's kind of, he's right. Um, it's This is kind of a cross between a deep water culture and Cracky. Uh, on all of these plants, I haven't changed the water or nutrients, and it's been well over a month. But with how big peppers are, it's gonna it's gonna happen where I'm going to need to change the water or add water and nutrients. Uh, in my basil and cilantro videos, I grew it from start to finish without changing the water, so I guess that would be a true crack key. But one of the main reasons I wanted to cover this method and try it in the greenhouse with the peppers is. It's simple, you don't need electricity out here for it, and you don't need pumps and you don't need crazy special containers, you just need food grade buckets and these little these little lids or the nut pots like I cut into the protein jugs. So that, that pot was made for literally under a dollar. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way, but let's, let's get back to the uh, update. The plant we have in front of us here is using the urban hydroponics and like we saw in our basement, it with the heavy nitrogen, it, it loves to grow. We're starting to get some flower buds on there, so that's exciting. And uh, really happy with this nutrient again. Like I've said a hundred times, I swear they haven't given me anything. Um, pH is always spot on. The root growth on it is amazing. And oh, while we're at it, so you can see we're about halfway gone on the water. Uh, once those roots take off, I imagine... I'm going to be changing or adding nutrients and water about every three to five days like I am on the big boy in the in the basement. We'll go to the start. Uh, we have our general hydroponics stack right here. It's doing okay. And here is our soul brand nutrients. Looking okay, a little behind. Not quite as bushy as everything else, but the root growth is there. And the pH seems to be a little better out here than what I experienced in my basement. Uh, then to our little... Protein jugs, general hydroponics, soul brand nutrients, and urban hydroponics again. Uh, looking really good. There was actually a flower on this one down in here, and give it a little tap. Hopefully it'll pollinate, and it's not too early. And we'll see if we struggle with the flowers dropping with these two out here like we did in the basement due to the amount of nitrogen. So the plant's going to think that it wants to keep growing, and the flowers or the fruit won't develop. We'll see how that goes. We have a new new addition that we wanted to cover. The good folks over at Black Magic Hydroponics uh, reached out to us and sent us three of their felt pots, uh, two bags of their potting soil, which we have here and here, and a bag of their Coco Noir, and um, two gallons of their Part A and Part B nutrient and then two of their uh, supplemental nutrient. And what we have here in this pot, which I'm excited about, is just another chocolate bootla, but it's looking great. Uh, we've been actually watering this every day, and then we're adding the nutrient once a week, as directed um, on their grow guide. And the cool thing about these felt pots is they really help aerate the roots. It's pretty much impossible to overwater because the water will drain out the sides and the uh, bottom. And they're really good at releasing heat. So we know peppers love heat, but these pots within this greenhouse, we're getting over 90 degrees a day, up to 100 sometimes, which we're combating with shade cloth. These peppers are exploding. And we'll see how these work in the long run compared to what we have in the pots. Now, obviously, it's not apples to apples because the plants in the pots, the two were clones, just like, or the two were clones, uh, taking up the same plant as the six I just covered. But we'll see how these grow. And I'm really excited. And thanks again, Black Magic Hydroponics, for it. And we also have a plant in the basement that we started um, using their nutrients. And I'll give it away now. We got a camera to do time-lapse videos on. So I have a time-lapse video going of a chocolate bootla from about 20 days of age. And we'll see how long I can let it go before I get impatient and post it using Black Magic Hydroponic Nutrients. To cover what we have going in the back to see 
what we have, uh, you know, comparing soil to hydroponic, this is the same cutting. Um, it's actually blowing up. Uh, I was just using regular potting soil I picked up at Tractor Supply, which, like I said, I'm new to peppers, so a lot of you pepper gurus are going to shame me for not using all the different uh, pepper plant recipes for soil that I've seen. I will do that in the future, but I just wanted to see what happened with some regular soil. And if you get down in there with the light, we have tons of flowers on this thing already. Now I've yet to see a fruit, and I'm wondering if it's because I'm feeding these plants with the urban hydroponic nutrients mixed with water. Uh, but we'll give it another week or two, and if the flowers keep dropping, then we'll switch over to the general hydroponics. But I want to go with the urban as long as possible. So this, this thing is super bushy, obviously, because it's a cutting. And then here's another one. Tons of flowers on it looking okay and then our apocalyptic scorpion um it's not from a cutting so you can see it's growing straight up the base is nice and thick and we're starting to see a little a couple flower pods on there so i'm curious to see how this one goes also and what they taste like and then back to the other plant that we have um in our black magic hydroponic dirt and felt pot is a peach bolt juclea so I'm super excited about that. Uh, these seeds I got from a couple that are local to us, and their website is plantswithstories.com. They don't ship, but I talked to them for 45 minutes, and they're an awesome couple. They do heirloom tomatoes and peppers, and it's just really good to meet new people. And I told them I'd give them a shout-out for their website, so check it out if you're interested. They don't ship, but maybe if you send them an email, they could. But... This peach uh, ghost pepper, super excited. And off of all these plants, we're gonna be taking cuttings and moving them indoors this winter once we're done with the greenhouse grow. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, put the comments below, questions below, or send me a message. And uh, like us, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Till next time, we'll talk to you later.